Hey guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to add shortcuts and links into your dashboards. Let's dive in. All right, here is our dashboard. So let's go ahead and add a sh what we call a shortcut widget or a link widget. So do that on our dashboard, go up to edit. As always, we're gonna click edit, go down to edit dashboard, we're gonna click here. Then we're gonna click edit again, and go to add widget, hover a mouse, and we're gonna choose the third option which is called shortcut. All right, now on a shortcut widget, there are three different shortcuts or links that you can add. So if you go over here to the panel on the right, we click add shortcut, we have three options. It's website, attachment, and smart sheet item. Now the nice, th nice thing with uh, shortcut widgets is the first option here is website, but it's really not just a website, it's actually misleading. It's anything with a URL. And what I mean by that is if I just go to um, open up a new tab here and it should go to Google. So we're in Google here. So if I just type in Google, let's do this, google.com, and I just double double tap into the, U this is called the URL link up here, https, semicolon, slash, slash, www.google.com. I just highlight this whole thing right here and click copy and go back to my dashboard and I choose the website and I just paste that where it says paste a URL here. I just paste that in there. I can call this whatever I want. I can call this Google landing page. When I click apply, that link is now there. So it's not just a website. It can be anything with a URL. It, it can be your website. Um, it can be a login for your, you know, for our QuickBooks or your accounting software, whatever you want, anything with a URL, you can add that right there. The second option is attachments, attachments. Now, if you click here, you have all these different options, Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, Evernote, Ignite, and OneDrive. And for um, the training today, I'm gonna choose the first option, which is Google Drive. Now, when you choose Google Drive, it's first gonna ask you to log in to your, uh, your Google account, your Google Drive, and I've already since done that. Once you log into your Google Drive, you only have to do it once, then every time after that you go in here, you get all your options for all the different things you want to add. So what's nice about the shortcut, the smart sheet shortcut widget, is you can add many things besides just smart sheet items. You can add uh, Google PowerPoint. You can add, add another one here, add shortcut, go to attachments, Google Drive. I can add uh, Google, Google Documents. Like say I want to add this Google document. If this video has been helpful to you so far, I actually have a full length training video solely on Smartsheet dashboards. I cover dashboards from end to end. And more importantly, I also cover the top three keys to make your dashboard stand out from the rest. This recording was a recording I did off a live Smartsheet dashboard training video that I did on a live webinar. It is yours 100% free. If you're ready to take your dashboard to the next level and you want, really wanna up your game, this is your video. This is the video you've been looking for. It's 100% free, just click on the link below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this current video. I can add Excel files or a Google um, uh, spreadsheet here. Google Drive, here we go. And it doesn't just have to be Google products. I can add in here uh, Word documents and PDFs. So for instance, when I go to add shortcut and I go to um, attachments, uh, anything that you have, like say in your box or your Dropbox, anything with, with a Word doc in it or a PDF or Excel file, whatever the case may be, uh, PowerPoint presentation, you can add it all right here. And the third, option is smart sheet item and if you click smart sheet item you can look at all the items within your smart sheet environment so maybe i want to choose a sheet and you can choose more than one option at a time so a sheet 
35 functions, archive sheet, a dashboard, and a budget. So I click all of these, I click OK. They all appear right here. Is you get two options to view all of this information. You can have it stacked like this, which is this right here, side by side, or you can have it stacked up and down. So if I choose this option right here, watch what happens. They all get stacked. Here's the old option, here's the new option. And I like this option, it makes the viewing a little bit easier, but if you have a lot of um, items right here, then I would do the side by side. So let's go ahead and do stacked. And what I typically do with my key resource, or excuse me, my shortcut widget, is I call it my key resources. So in the title, I'm gonna call it key resources. Go and center that. And what I'll do is I'll typically, just drag this over here, make this a little bit smaller, is I typically have my key resources on the top left section of my dashboard. Top left section of my dashboard. Let's go and move these puppies over here. And we'll do something like so. Because on any dashboard or any website for that matter, people's eyes start on the top left and they zigzag. Their eyes go top left, look to the right, zigzag down, and to the right again. And so key resources are, are should be front and center on any on any, any dashboard, any website. So I want all my information right here. You can also change the colors of the font here. So if I go to edit, edit dashboard, and I click into here, if I click into it a third time, then I can choose the colors. If I want it to be red, if I want it to be yellow or like orange, if I want this to be blue, if I want this to be green, I think you get the idea here. You can change that. You can also change how big the wording is. So maybe on this one I want this to be 18 font, I want it to be bold, I can strike through it, underline, just know that you can do this. Now if you're like, hey I don't like the way these are stacked, like maybe I want my sheets up at the top, if you hover your mouse, mouse to the left and you see these eight dots right here, just click and drag with your mouse, and you can move this wherever you want. So you can drag all of these up. And if you don't like the titles that they came with, you want to change the titles, let's choose this one for instance, Untitled Document, I don't like that title. If you double click into this, you can give it a new name. Google Sheet ABC. Maybe I want to change Google Landing Page, just call it Google the Google, and uh, maybe we'll call this, uh, this one up here, we'll call it sheet one, two, three. All right, and that is how you make a key resource widget on your dashboard. It's using the, uh, the shortcut widget. And let's go ahead and click save on the top right. And let's go and test this out here. So this should take me to an archive sheet. So I'm gonna click into here. And it takes me to the archive sheet. Let's go ahead and click on the back button. Let's go ahead and choose the, uh, let's see here, we'll go to the URL, the Google. Click on this link and it should take me to google.com. And look at that. And let's go to, let's go to the Google uh, webinar that I did earlier using Google PowerPoint. I'm gonna click here. And there's my PowerPoint. Look at that. So it's all front and center and easy to use. That is how you create key resources or shortcut widgets on your dashboard. All right, you guys, stay tuned to the next video. As always, take care and God bless.